Hi, I'm Linda Whitworth from Alberta Barley. Today we're going to make hearty bison barley soup. A wonderful treat for those cold winter nights. I have a pound of bison here, which is available now in all grocery stores in the freezer section. I'm just going to brown it in the bottom of my pan and then we'll add some onions and brown them as well before we add the rest of our ingredients. I usually add my meat a little bit at a time till I see how much it fills the pan. If you add too much at once, it cools your pan down and that will draw moisture out of your meat and then you don't end up browning it. You end up kind of boiling the meat in its own juices. So make sure your pan is large enough to hold all of your meat so that it browns nicely. Bison is one of the new and upcoming ingredients in uh, cooking today and it's because it's lower in fat and lower in cholesterol so it's a nice healthy alternative for these warm winter soups. At this stage we're going to add one cup of either pearl or pot barley, our tomatoes, undiluted beef broth, give that a stir, that will uh, clear off those little brownie bits from the meat and add wonderful flavor to our soup and then add the balance of our ingredients. Our carrots, celery, and bay leaves. And don't forget to add our seasoning. We've got some dry thyme. Measure it into the palm of your hand and break it up with your thumb. This releases the flavors of your herbs and improves the flavor of your soup. And some pepper. Fresh ground is always the nicest. We'll finish this up with our water. Bring it to a boil. Cover, reduce the heat to simmer, and we'll let it simmer for one hour and there you have hearty bison barley soup. Here we have our finished soup. I love making a nice large pot of soup because once you've fed your family for dinner, you can take the leftovers, divide them up into single serving bowls, put a date on them and freeze them and eat them for lunch over the next few weeks. Let's see how our hearty bison barley soup tastes. We'll just garnish it with a little bit of parsley and see how it tastes. Join us next time at gobarley.com. Delicious.